Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome as well. It's good to have you. And our topic for you today, it's secrets to success in the gym business secrets to success in the gym business. So, you know, if you're just getting started, if you've been doing it for a while, it'd be a great topic for you. If you're training other folks, great topic for you. You're looking to go to another level, great topic for you. So secrets to success in the gym business. Now, before we get into our topic today, just a quick reminder, you know, my focus, my mission here in the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can, you know, to as many people as I can, you know, across the globe. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel. So if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, please check out those links below. And then for you folks who are looking to open a new gym and you need funding, uh, you're looking to make an acquisition, you need funding, uh, you have an existing operation, you need working capital, you need funding for that, you know, we can help provide funding for between $50,000 and $500,000 in funding that is unsecured. Uh, there's no restrictions on use. And the basic uh, qualification for that program is a credit score of 680 or better in all three credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, and a minimum income of 50000 per year, you know, each of the two previous years. Check out the links below under financing and funding, you know, for more information on that program, as well as other financing options, you know, that we have available for you. And so with that said, let's get into our topic here today, and it's secrets to success in the gym business. And my suggestion here, listen to this video several times over, take good notes on it. You know, how are you doing on some of these fundamentals? And so number one, get organized. Okay, get organized. Here's what I mean. Get a plan of action. Get a plan of action. You can check the channel here for other videos on how to write a plan of action. But you should have uh, a plan of action for every month. Okay, every month, you know, a brand new plan of action on, hey, here's where you're at. You know, here's the goals, tangible and intangible. Here's the plan, roadblocks and setbacks. You want to work your way all the way through this. The clubs that do the best, the ones that I see, have a plan of action. You know, it's one of the common denominators of clubs that we get involved with that are struggling and they're in need of a bit of a turnaround. The common denominator is they don't have a plan. They're just out there kind of winging it every day. And, you know, what is your plan for sales? What is your plan for marketing? Plan for operations? What's your overall plan of action? But get yourself a plan of action. You know, new, new clubs do it all the time. They write a business plan. Okay. Now, when you get it, you have to use it. You know, work on it, you know, every single day. Number two, keep detailed records. Keep detailed records. And here's what I mean. You want to know your KPIs. You want to know your key performance indicators. Okay. I mean, if you're a gym owner, you want to know, you know, what is your rent as a percentage to your total revenue? What is your payroll um, as a percentage uh, to your, your total revenue? What is your recurring fees as a percentage, you know, to your total operating expense? What are those numbers? Okay. If you're a salesperson, you're an owner, you're monitoring performance. How many leads are we collecting daily? How many outbound calls are we making? How many people are we getting a hold of? How many appointments are we getting? How many are showing up? How many are converting? How many are getting involved in the second sale? What's our referral percentage look like? What's our, our personal training penetration like? We, we need to know all that. You want detailed records because when you, when you monitor those detailed numbers, you know exactly where you're at. And if you get off course, we can usually quickly fix it. So keep detailed records. Know your numbers. Number three, analyze your competition. Analyze your competition. You know, what you're looking for here for you, what's your point of differentiation? What do you do that's so much better than everybody else? Know what your competition does. You know, where are they dropping the ball? What are they not providing that the customers want? What do you do that's so much better? What do you do that's so much different? Because if you're perceived to be the same, it's going to come down to money. 
Okay, and that's in most cases not where you want to be. So analyze your competition. Okay, know what's out there. Okay, how do you stand out? Because the beauty of it is once you determine that and you market that and the customers know, this will expand your reach, it'll expand your ability, you know, to command you know higher fees. Number four on our list of secrets, you know, to success in the gym business, understand the risk rewards. Understand the risk rewards. You know, we go through this exercise all the time with, with new startups, you know, in business plan preparation. But what are the risks? The risk might be competition coming in. The risk might be the economy. The risk might be world events. The risk might be loss of key personnel. The risk might be anchor tenant moves out of the center. Okay, these are all risks. And then how do we mitigate those risks? How do we mitigate them? Because the reality is there has to be risk. If there's no risk, there's no opportunity. Okay, so analyze and understand the risk. If you're an individual salesperson, what's the risk? Okay, and then how do you mitigate that risk? Okay, the risk is I don't really understand sales or like sales. I was certainly that way when I first started, and, and I, I figured that those things out. But understand the risk, understand the rewards, understand how to mitigate those risks. Number five, be creative. Be creative. You know, creativity is one of the key things here because we're trying to differentiate ourselves from everybody else. You know, when you look at your marketplace, you know, roughly in that three mile radius of where you're at, generally speaking, about 20% of all those folks would be expected to be a member of a gym. There's the other 80% that's commonly referred to as the uncontested market. Can we get creative to get those folks in? How can we help break down barriers to get those folks in? Now, one of the comments I would make about creativity, okay, if you're the boss, you know, if you're the owner, if you're the manager, you wanna make it a safe haven to give ideas. We don't wanna be shooting people down or criticizing ideas. We wanna make it open and safe. We want to encourage everybody to bring ideas because you, know, you just never know where that good idea is gonna come from but get creative on this. Don't be afraid to try some things. Uh, number six on my list of secrets to success in the gym business, stay focused, stay focused. You know, the first thing I would mention here on the stay focused thing, okay, no matter where you're at, you're a salesperson, you're a manager, you own the gym, your area director, whatever, what is your why? Why is this important to you? I know you want to make money, but why is this important to you? Okay, make sure we understand the answer to that question. And that answer can change. That answer can change over time. I know for me it has over time. Okay, it'll change. But understand that why. Because the more you stay focused on that why, that's going to help you stay focused on what you're trying to get done. Okay, it's pretty simple. Now, the other part in there that stay focused you know, one of the biggest enemies of businesses is complacency. You know, I refer to it as success apathy. You know, just because we've had success in the past doesn't mean we're going to have success in the future. Okay. And the best way to stay focused on this is really understand your numbers. Know your numbers. Okay. From an ownership standpoint, you know, know your numbers. You know, what is your rent as a percentage, payroll as a percentage, recurring fees as a percentage, uh, for sales staff. Again, how many leads are we collecting? How many calls are we making? Um, how many contacts are we getting? How many appointments are being booked? How many are showing up? Um, you know, all of that, you know, telephone inquiries and what's our set percentage email, you know, what's our follow up look like our personal training penetration, you know, staying focused, means we do that all the time. It's easy with success to get away from some of those things, or it's easy to start to think those things don't matter. Well, they do because they tell you exactly what's happening. Okay. So stay focused. And then number seven on my list of secrets to success in the gym business is give great customer service, give great customer service. And you want to give the best member experience possible. Okay, make that a focal point because there's a direct correlation between your attrition numbers and your member experience. And you know, so can we talk about staying focused? We talk about keeping detailed records, knowing our numbers. Do you know your monthly um, uh, attrition as a percentage? Do we know it? Okay, if not, let's go find it. Let's just say you're at four percent, which is a high number. 
that means you're losing almost half your members every single year. What if you can up that customer experience? And what if you can bring that number down to say 36%? That's a 14% improvement to the bottom line with no new sales. Give great customer service. If you need help, you know, check me out uh, in the links below. You know, certainly happy to chat with you about how we can help you do that. And again, my name is Jim Thomas. Uh, appreciate you being here at the channel today. If you've not yet done so, please take a moment. You know, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Again, to learn more about me, learn more about my company, and how we can help take your business that next level. You know, be sure to check out those links below. And then again, for you folks who are looking to open a new gym, you need funding, you're looking to make an acquisition, you need funding, uh, you need working capital, you're an existing operator, you need funding, you know, we can help provide funding for between $50,000 and $500,000 uh, in funding uh, that is unsecured, there's no restrictions on use, uh, the basic credit score uh, on that required is a 680 or better in Experian, uh, Equifax, and TransUnion, minimum income of $50,000 per year each of the two previous years. You can check out the links below under financing and funding for more information on that program, as well as other financing options uh, that we have for you. And uh, appreciate you being here at the channel today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on that next video.